course, Brett Favre came here just a few years later. Now first down for Tampa Bay. They needed that completion of Ben. And now they get a good run from Blunt. He won't go down. LeGarrett Blunt, what a run. One of the best of the year, LeGarrett Blunt all the way. And he broke tackles at every step. Looking for Cruz. And it's caught after being tipped and Cruz to the end zone. Boy, Seattle had perfect coverage downfield. Eli Manning just simply threw that one up, said a prayer. There were two defenders down there, Cam Chancellor being the safety that was really over the top of it. Four man rush. And then coming through at the last moment, but escaping. McMahon rolling to the outside, coming back this way. Has a lot of room. Is going to launch one. He was behind the line of scrimmage. And that is Freddie Mitchell making the catch. That is amazing. That is Donovan McNabb. That's what a quarterback staying alive is. That's what a quarterback that played all over can do. That's what a quarterback that was a basketball player can do. That's what a quarterback that has great strength can do. Little Rocky Mountain Thunder. And then the throw underneath the hall. Oh, look at him. Like a cat. Look now he's in the clear. Oh, no. Is this you know this? What a brilliant play again. That was artistry. And he. By Dante Hall. Out of the slot. All right, now there's Delth O'Neal, the first guy up. He misses him there. He goes back and actually gets cut out. His legs cut out from under him by Al Wilson, the middle line. And blew away Philadelphia. Over the center. Drops straight back. Giants on a blitz. McMahon hit as he throws. Swings it right. And the pass nearly. And it's intercepted by Seahorn. He's got it on the run. Down the left sideline. Cuts it at the 10. Five. Touchdown. What a play by Seahorn. Unbelievable athleticism. And I can't believe they called that. Again, it doesn't seem to be in the spirit. A quick kick by Cunningham. Randall Cunningham with a quick kick with the Vikings up on the line, and it goes out of bounds at the 27-yard line. So maybe it's Mississippi and LSU, 1959 all over again, Dan. <laughs> well, Atlanta Falcons have the football. Matt Ryan out of the shotgun on third and 10, the obvious passing situation, so he drops back. He targets his receiver. Ball taps in the air, lands on the rear end and thighs of Marcus Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore, the rookie sensation, first-round draft pick for the Saints, comes up with the intercept. Here's the, the replays make this right now. One of the interceptions of the year should have been a completion first of all but then hey it's christmas eve make interception down towards the goal line to keep the raiders out third and eight can the steelers defense get off the field garner no what a move by charlie garner holy cow what a run 40 30 <laughs> great run. He must have made four moves that just left people flat-footed. Not since. 8-19 remaining in the first half. Here comes the reverse. And ending up with it is Mike Renfro. And Renfro, with a nifty bit of running, is close to the 42-yard line. It could be close to a first down. <laughs> Under pressure. Oh, and it's caught by Barber. Barber at the 40, the 35, and out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Oh, that was a pinball machine at work. That ball was in and out of four different hands. So, Philadelphia poured it on. It finally moved to 35-14 Eagles with this screwy play. Casper lateraling it back to Manning. Manning running for his life. And Manning finally underhanding the ball to Mike Renfro. Watch this. They used to play this one at Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn. What a joke. All to no avail. Eagles, 35 to 14. 13 after the timeout from the 23-yard line. Montana, short drop and a sack at the 17-yard line. Richard Dent in the neighborhood very much. 
So you better slow him a little bit at the line of scrimmage. You give him about a three or four sprint. No. Detroit and Reichel just down at eight seconds left. No, he can't do that. It was fourth down. Fourth down. He couldn't do that. The game's over. He did it. It was a mistake. The game's yeah. over. I'm kicks. Jackson desperate to get going to the 16. Not much room. Trying to make a lot happen here. Big circle back by Jackson. Trying to pick up blocks. And he lost the football. And it's recovered by the punter Jones. Here comes Jared Allen, and he's out of bounds. Poor guy. I don't even know if he realized it. And that's a safety. Well, so much for me calling him savvy because he had no idea where he's on the field. Tough situation, but you just can't do that. You have to realize, and you can see him, he didn't even know he was out of bounds. Tough situation for a young quarterback. Second and three, they send Moss in motion, and he's trailed by Seahorn, who then blitzes, and that leaves Moss wide open. And Randy will walk his way into the end zone. So Seahorn trailed Moss across the formation, then Jason came in to blitz, and nobody covered Moss. Stack to his right. T.J. Jones to his left. He looks right. He throws right. A little high, but Ross comes down. It's popped up in the air, and it's picked off. This could go for the Bills. And it will. It's Ron Brooks. See you later. Giants at three and one. And the Rams at two and two. And we're underway in Anaheim. Coming down to the far side and fumbled uh, into the end zone. And fallen on by one of the Giants. And that is a touchdown. He touched the ball in the field of play. Did A.J. Jones. Let it go into the end zone, and the Giants fell on it for a touchdown. Phil McConkey, number 80, the little man from Navy. I Dilfer with Gash and Jamal Lewis lined up behind him. That's time, throws far side. Loose the ball, it is complete. Shannon Sharp put the ball down the sideline. Sharp going to go for the touchdown. That's not the way you draw them up. Quarterback John Forcade of the New Orleans Saints authored one of the wildest plays in pro football history against the Rams in 1987. Up, throwing deep down the near sideline. It's going to be picked off back to the 40, 45, to the 50, to the 45 of the Saints. The ball comes loose. Another Ram has picked it up. This is a lineman. This one's going to be seen on the highlights for a long, long time. 28 looking to lateral. The ball goes loose in the Saints have it. It's Forcade. He's got it at the 40, 45, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 10, into the end zone for the touchdown. For Cates, Frolic had nothing on this folly in 1964. On a wild scoring play, Ed Brown's pass bounces off two giant defenders and into the hands of Clendon Thomas for a Pittsburgh touchdown. Go ahead. At the 29 now, Emmett Smith swings to the outside. Picks up three. Still oh, going! Emmett Smith doing a Barry Sanders imitation. Touchdown! And Deion Sanders hits him late and knocks him down, but it's a touchdown. I'll tell you what, he looks like he might be hurt too. He Looking. Does. Stops, throws, completes it to Kilmer up at the 30 yard line. Kilmer driving for the first down, loses the football. It's picked up by Jim Marshall, who's running the wrong way. Marshall is running the wrong way, and he's running it into the end zone the wrong way. Thinks he scored a touchdown. He has scored a safety. Where Keenum's going to try to work the ball on the boundary. Keenum steps into it. Pass is caught. 